tank or tank cover has been reinstalled. Cleaning intensity has been set. Hello and welcome back to my channel. It's Nathan here and welcome back to Robot Masters. Alright, so my name is Nathan. I just said that. Why am I repeating myself? Alright, so today we have the very first or cleanest raw vacuum on the market. This is the Smart Me A1. This is one of the first raw vacuums that can wet and dry mop. Actually, let's disregard that because the scuba from iRobot was the first, but let's pretend that didn't exist. Alright, so the Smart Me A1 has lighter based navigation, has multi map saving, has 4000 pascals a section, has a 600 milliliter water tank, the list goes on and on. So, those specs alone is pretty impressive. But does the Smart Me A1 deliver? Well, stick around, I'll showcase some cleaning challenges and show you the navigation, there's some quirks. But overall, the Smart Me A1 is a pretty impressive or well, vacuum slash mopping robot in itself. So, stick around. And if you're interested in this guy, I do have a special link. It's through Indiegogo. Yeah, this guy's not even on market yet. And if you want the early bit special, which should expire within a day, well, check it out because you can save a few bucks. Okay, let's see what this guy's all about. Charging in progress. to recharge and air dry the brush. Please clean the wastewater tank in a timely manner. What sets the Smart Me A1 from the competition is the fact it has its separate dirty water tank. Now a lot of these raw vacuums that can vacuum and mop, they just kind of spread their dirty water around. Uh, their mopping pads get pretty dirty quickly. But with the Smart Me A1, with the self-cleaning capabilities, also with the smart mapping, yes, you can tell it to clean a specific area. Also, you can tell it to keep out a certain area. So if you don't want to mop your carpets, that's a option. Now, you do have multi-map saving, and the application I'm using is through the Me Home app, which is a very popular application. Roblox uses it. A lot of third-party vendors like 360, Xiaomi, uh, use this app as well. Well, I want to apologize for the shaky camera work. I do have a 3-axis gimbal and I was planning on reviewing it, but it's just been sitting in the box. Maybe sometime this year, I'll take it out of the box. That's probably the hardest thing. Okay, so the Smart Me A1 has a very unique design. I really think it's futuristic. Looks really awesome. That D-shaped design does pretty good around the corners. And the fact that it has the octagon design up top kind of gets this raw vacuum in a very unique shape and cool styling. Alright, so you probably heard how loud this robot is. It definitely gets louder when it's self-cleaning. So, my recommendation, run this guy when no one's sleeping or trying to take a nap. You definitely probably wake up the neighborhood and also the pets. I'm just kidding. But, in reality, this robot vacuum is not supposed to be quiet. It's a vacuum cleaner. So, just expect that. Uh, there is actually three different mopping levels. So, on the lower levels, it's not as loud. So, maybe just turn it down if you are worried about the noise. Okay, so you do have the option for it to go over twice, which I definitely recommend. Gives it a better cleaning job. Overall, the performance is pretty impressive. It's probably on par with a lot of these wet, dry stick vacuums I've tested, and the fact that it can self-clean this brush is pretty impressive. One thing to note, it does have an air drying feature. It's not hot air, it's just ambient air. So just be mindful of that. But I don't think it's a big issue since the extract bar spins pretty quickly to remove any excessive water. So we'll see how well that works, see if there's any uh, mildew buildup over time. But you can see how quickly the brush is spinning, around 1,600 RPMs. 
All right, so you may notice that this rule of vacuum does not have a side brush, which makes sense. If you're planning on mopping, especially if it's like sticky substance or liquids, you probably don't want that side brush splashing the liquids around. So it makes sense that this rule of vacuum does not have a side brush, but just bear in mind, it does kind of miss some along the edges. Well, I wouldn't try this with a traditional vacuum slash mopping robot. Yeah, that would be a crazy mess, especially since the mopping pad on those models are towards the back. So the first thing I would contact the sticky mess is the wheels and the extractor bar. Now, what makes the Smart Me A1 unique is the fact that the extractor bar or the mopping pad is up front. Also, the fact that it has an onboard fresh water tank, so it keeps the mopping pad or the mopping brush roll nice and clean as it goes along the floors. And then, it uses a vacuum motor to suck up the dirty liquid and puts it in that dirty water tank. Well, they say first impressions is everything. I think that holds too, especially for products. So the box is nicely colorful. I like the fact they kind of show you how the system works and how it sucks up all the liquids using the back motor and that uh, fresh water tank. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this guy opened up. Uh, it's really nicely packaged, and I think Smart Me really wants to bring home to robot vacuums. So they added a cute little panda face, which you can slap on the top of the robot. Pretty cool. Okay, so at the time of filming, this product wasn't released to the public, so I did get a instruction manuals in Chinese, Japanese, not 100% sure, but I was able to follow the diagrams, and the setup process was pretty straightforward. There's your mopping plate so the robot doesn't leak water onto your floors. Now what's interesting is I like the fact that it gave you a bunch of accessories. You actually get two additional filters, which is very handy. Allows them to air dry if they get dirty, and you can wash out the filters, which is nice. Now, another unique thing is you do have an AC adapter, which does support the 100 to 240 volts, so nice plus there. And the fact that you get an extra uh, dirty water cover, which I guess if we lost it, or if you want it to air dry, you have the option, so you can continue uh, mopping. Alright, so when I first got this product, I thought that was like a fresh water tank, but no, this is where you hold an extra brush. So let's take a look inside there. You got a little cleaning tool, yep, to cut the hair off the extractor bar, and the fact you have a wire brush, maybe clean the wire tank. So a very cool little storage area, makes it a really nice, sleek design. On the back of the dock station, you have this little cover where you can wrap the little power cable around, so it gives it a little bit cleaner setup. Now the extractor bar itself, or the mopping bar, not sure how to say this, but it's really nice, it's soft, it uh, has some bristles to it, so it should make mopping pretty good. Now the robot itself, when I first saw this was pretty impressive. Now I did notice that there was two different colored brushes, not sure what they do, they felt the same, but it's kind of cool, maybe you want to have a blue brush one day, an orange brush the next. Alright, so I lost a part already, let's figure out what that was. So. If we look underneath the robot, there's actually four wheels, two drive wheels without the black wheels and two kind of front wheel casters, which is very interesting. Alright, let's go and lift up the lid here and there's some instructions how to properly clean your robot if you forget. Now, the entire water tank is pretty easy, just lift up with the orange handle and if we remove the top cover, that reveals the dirty water tank. Now, it's pretty easy to clean. I'm pretty sure you can clean this entire tank with just some fresh, uh, warm or cold water with a mild soap detergent. So I sh shouldn't have any problems cleaning this entire uh, tank unit out. So like I said before in the beginning of this video, I really think Smart Me really took the time to invest in a quality product. They kind of designed their own robot, which really does show. I kind of see like the gaskets, also the way the robot works, and how everything fits together, fits nicely. So you are getting a pretty quality product, and it just looks pretty cool. I just can't get over how cool this robot looks with the clear window, that nice rubber bumper. Also, you got a little infrared sensors to help line up with the dock, a side sensor, a uh, you also have a pretty strong vacuum motor. I can feel the airflow and there's some charging contacts. So again, this robot looks really, really cool. Uh, probably one of the best looking robots I've seen for 2022. Okay, so one thing I noticed is there is a uh, little battery cover. So if you happen to uh, have a battery that goes out on you, it's pretty easy to replace the batteries. But as you can see, it doesn't look any different from a traditional well, vacuum. It has the cliff sensors, has a pretty large extractor bar. But one thing to know, it does require a Phillips screw to move that extractor bar. So that's just one downside. Kind of wish it was like a clip or a magnetic. But overall, this robot's pretty nice. And I've been pretty impressed with the Smart Me A1. 
Well, I want to personally thank each and every one of you for watching my videos. And if you guys are a long time subscriber, thank you so much. You guys are awesome. Okay, so if you like this video, give it a big old thumbs up. It does help out this video. It also allows me to continue doing these cool products. I also try to get products that you haven't seen on this channel, um, some unique products. So that's what I try to look forward to and try to uh, get. Okay, so let's kind of wrap up this video, kind of give you my overall impressions of the Smart Me A1. So I think overall, this Royal Vacuum has a pretty good chance of making it. It's a really impressive who have vacuum just from the get-go. The fact that it works well, uh, it was able to handle these cleaning challenges without any issues. Um, one thing to note is it is a little aggressive. I put some obstacles or some things down on the ground and this roller vacuum had no problems pushing around. So just be mindful of that. Use the keep out zones or the no mopping zones if you worry about delicate areas or areas where the robot shouldn't go. Now, there's no carpet avoidance sensor while it's mopping, so it will go onto carpets. So just uh, be careful of that. If you have hardware floors and carpeting, you might want to block off that area with a physical boundary when it first maps out. Another thing is there's no smart mapping or quick mapping, so uh, it does take the entire uh, cleaning uh, time to map out your entire uh, floor plan. Well, I think that basically sums up my initial review of the Smart Me A1. Overall, it's pretty cool. So I'm going to continue evaluating this product, see how well it holds up. And in the meantime, continue watching my videos if you're interested in these types of products. I'll have some interesting products down the pipeline. I'm working with some companies. Maybe I'll get a robotic snowblower, a robot that carries your luggage for you. I don't know. I'll try to get some unique products on this channel for you guys. Not just mainly who are vacuums, but some other stuff as well. All right, so have a great rest of your day. Enjoy the rest of your summer. I know summer's almost over, about halfway. My daughter's going back to school soon. So I should have more free time to do some more cool products for you guys. All right, be safe out there. Adios. Yeah. Hold on. <laughs>